Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I wanna go ahead and shout out Helen Wambe. She sent me this story and he's coming from Trailer Park Trash, Tennessee, okay? What's going on is that there's a 38 year old man. His name is Robert Linlow. Basically he caught two women at his Dollar General store shoplifting. The women are claiming that basically he caught the police on them but before the police got there, he forced both these women to give him head. This whole situation is just re-damn dickless. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A Tennessee store employee raped two women after he caught them shoplifting, authorities say. Robert Lindlau, assistant manager at a Dollar General store in Clarksville, Tennessee, forced the women to perform sexual favors on him inside a locked room, according to cops. The 38-year-old Lindlau had escorted the women, aged 44 and 32, to an office in the back of the store. He lied and told them cops had been called the women were told to undress and were allegedly fondled by the suspect. Lindlau told them to put their clothing back on and instructed them to leave the store, according to authorities. He allowed them to leave with some of the items they had tried to take. The alleged attacks happened in March, and the 38-year-old Lindlau was arrested on Tuesday, Clarksville cops said. He was indicted on two counts of rape. All right, so you guys just checked out this news clip. All right, so first of all, a lot of things bother me with this story, okay? So first off, the women are 32 and 44 years old, okay? So first of all, why the fuck are these bitches still not a Dollar General? It's not like they're still not a Target or Walmart. What the hell is in Dollar General that you really need to steal? Second of all, if I get caught stealing, the dude is telling me that he just caught the police. So the police are going to come anyways, and I might be arrested anyways. Then he tells me he wants me to give him head. Um, no, bitch, I'm going to go to jail for 500, Alex. It's like it makes no sense. Why would they sit there and suck him off when he said that he just called the police? And then why does it take two of them to give him head? So while the one bitch was giving him head, what was the other bitch doing? Holding her hair back? Like the whole situation makes no sense. This man didn't have a gun. He didn't have a knife. Both these women could have ran out of there. They could have made, you know, a lot of noise. They could have said, you know what, we're waiting for the police. Neither one of these women had to suck him off. The whole situation to me just makes no sense whatsoever. This sounds like some shit that you would see in a porno, something off a Pornhub, because I don't understand this. And the police are saying that the women, they feared for their lives. What did they fear from? What could he have made them do in Dollar General while he was on the clock? The most he could have did was make them clean up on aisle two. You know, the whole situation is just insane to me. You know, I think there's more to this picture. I'm not buying these women's stories. First of all, they're claiming that this happened last March, okay? It is now January, but this happened almost a year ago and they're just now calling the police. I think what went down is that maybe these women were caught stealing. He decided that, you know what, if y'all would do some sexual favors for me, I'll let y'all get away with it. And so maybe these women were taking advantage. They might have been coming up there, you know, multiple times stealing. And it may have got to the point where other supervisors or, you know, the company was looking at him like, how come on your shift, you know, stuff is always coming up missing. Then maybe he decided at that point to let them know they could no longer come to his store and steal. And then at that point, they wanted to run to the police and go tell the police because now he was not allowing them to come to the store and take whatever they want. Like I said, this entire story just makes no sense to me you know i can see if it was one woman but for two women to say that they were forced to give some man head after the man claimed to have caught the police on them and then y'all sit there and give him head anyways the whole situation just sounds like bullshit anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion pop and go ahead and leave a comment let me hear your thoughts on this entire trailer trash situation honey that's once again coming from trailer park trash tennessee do you guys believe these two women's stories or do you feel like they're just making this up because for whatever reason they're trying to get this man in trouble because maybe he's not allowing them to steal anymore or do you feel like this man really force two women to give him head after catching them shoplifting and calling the police so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces